Hey guys, it's Ellen here and today we're doing some watercolor practice again for Floral Friday. Making these fun, sweet, abstract floral Christmas cards. Um, this is a fun technique I have many times on my channel where you're painting, removing, blotting in color. Um, I'm serious, any beginner can do this. We're just going to use one paintbrush and a bunch of little Christmas colors. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Also, if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please do so to know my tutorials up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Also, check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, reference photos. I live stream once a month on the top tier as well as a download from me. It's a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. And you can check it out. Check it out right here. Boop. In a second. So without further ado, let's get painting some fun Christmas cards. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'll go over all my supplies. I have two pieces of 4x6 Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. I've torn them up from scraps that I've had. Um, I have two craft pieces of paper, 5x10. I mean, excuse me. Well, there's they're 7x10. You fold them in half so they become like a 5x10 seven cards so we're going to actually at the end kind of tape it and then you're going to have a pretty card with that um i'm going to be using my princeton 10 neptune series brush i have my paints in my palette i have water jars up here you can't really see them that well but paper towels i've already started mixing some colors this is that fun um, abstract technique and i've talked about it many times on my channel and there's a do and don't abstract floral and there's a couple other abstract florals I will link into the description box here so just click those click that little V under the words show more and you'll see it um, so we'll just start off doing one of them for now and this is like a watercolor practice you don't have to have, you don't have to have major skills and you just kind of maybe know how to have to draw a holly leaf and a berry is pretty simple it's a, you know it's a circle um, I have a tutorial on winter green so you can just download that look at that so basically I'm just drawing a line curving it downward here that's where I'm gonna have my branch I'll put a couple of circles at the end here and I'll just I'm not gonna really I'm gonna start to like map out where I want to put some holly so maybe put some holly here and here but I actually like to paint intuitively I like to paint the branch and I paint as I go so you can just watch and see. It must be it'll probably be a little bit simpler. So obviously I'm going to grab my tin brush. I have some burnt umber right here already mixed up here. Um, it's a nice color. It's just kind of on the red side. I like to add a little black or another color to it. So I add neutral tint to it to give it like a little deeper brown co color tone. Okay. And whenever I feel like I have excess paint on my brush, I just kind of tap it on the paper towel. So we're going to use just going to go like this. We're just going to put that as our guide. Now, you could have another branch coming off. I originally wasn't going to do that, but I think I decided to do that. Just simply like that. Clean off your brush. Now we're going to make some berries. So I like to mix my red. I have magenta, quinacridone magenta. I don't want to say that 20 times fast. <laughs> I like real time tutorials where I'm talking, like you're just hanging out with me on my, my channel. Um, I could edit this and be very professional, but it's not who I am in real life, so why do it on my YouTube channel? So here I am. You see me mixing the yellow, the cabin yellow deep with this just to get the right red color. I like to mix my reds. And you can make a little deeper. You can add a little Prussian blue, a little burnt umber. See, I might add a little burnt umber. Doop. Take my tip of my brush, tip of my brush on the Prussian blue. Mm, a more yellow. It's a little too pink. I want it more red. Okay. So again, simple circles. Just simple circles. I know you guys can paint a circle. Don't tell me you can't paint a circle. Somebody comes on this channel and tells me that you can't paint a circle and they say I make it look so easy. Come on. You can't paint a circle? Everybody can paint a circle. Maybe if it's intimidating to paint it on a big brush. I don't know. I'm kind of used to painting a brush. So I've got some here, like three. Maybe make another one over here, a cluster. 
I don't like to keep it uh, even numbers. So I put like five and put one out here. And I did make it six. Oh, well, I'll put some more berries out this way. So I'll put some more berry here and I'll put another berry here. Maybe add a little more yellow. And a lighter color berry here. And maybe a single one out here. Kind of play around in a single one, kind of like playing out here. So we got the red berries, right? Now we're going to do the holly leaves. Uh, I've, this, this combination here is peacock blue with the yellow. Get a nice bright green. The more yellow you add, the lighter, brighter that green is going to go. Up here I have a green that's mixed with Prussian blue. I said really deep blue. I need to grab some yellow and a little more yellow. And I can touch a burnt umber. It's like a nice deep green. I'm going to play around with both these colors. So I'm going to grab some more. I don't know why I'm going for that. I was going for that one. See? Try not to mess up my little palette here. Okay. So this movement. I talked about this in a couple of videos. Got to get this a little bit more water in here. It was a little too dry. So you kind of go like, meep, 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 meep. Sound effects too. <laughs> and then you can just fill it in. Just like that. You can have a little more, just, just that, that typical edge. You can just change it up a little bit. See, mine doesn't look like the perfect collie. And then you can go in down here, hanging off. See, I have a couple more bumps than I did the other one. I'm trying to get that pointy edge predominant. And there's a reason for that in a bit. I'm just going to be filling in there. I'll put another one up here. You put the holly where you want to put the holly. Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> Don't let them bully you on the holly. See, my little edges are not perfect. This is supposed to be a loose, fun... You know it's holly. I mean, come on. What else was it? I'll just keep putting a bunch of them. You can grab the other color green, too. Change up the greens a little bit. Don't be afraid of doing that. Going around my red here. I'm going to put one, doesn't really look like, but you can tell that it's kind of holly with the point going around here and then putting one down here. See where I'm going with this? And then I'll put another one down here. Okay. I'm going to add a little Prussian blue to some of these on the edges. I just grab with my brush that's already got the green on there. Put a little Prussian blue. I want a little blue in here. So you've got your holly looking so cute. I'm going to add a little bit brighter green here. Hmm. Put a little one, just like a little spray of a holly here. And maybe another one here. Like I said, just play around with it. You don't have to worry about if it looks exactly right. So, this might seem a little nuts to you, but we painted this nice little holly design. I'm going to go in here and add a little branch. And a little branch here. felt like it. I needed something. We're going to kind of destroy it. <laughs> I know. You'd be like, what? We're going to do what? Well, i show you a couple of times in other tutorials how to do this. So I'm going to move over my paints. I'm just going to grab my brush. It's got the water on it. 
And now let's see it's kind of dried into the paper. We want that dried into the paper. And we're gonna kind of destroy it. Okay, you ready? So we got water on our brush. I'm gonna just kind of push this paint out. And I can tap it on the paper towel. See? I'm gonna get some water on my brush. I'm gonna just kind of push it around there. Kind of destroying it. I'm gonna grab a little yellow too. So I'm grabbing like a little yellow. I'm gonna put some yellow in here. Just kind of pushing that color right next to the berries and the holly. Grabbing a little more yellow on my brush. There's a reason for that. I just want some colors going in here. So here I am kind of destroying the holly that I did. I'm gonna grab some more water. So you're kind of pushing it in here and pushing it in here and lift up the paint. Yep, I'm destroying it. Pushing all of this. And the holly. Grabbing the water again, kind of like erasing the edges of the holly. Lifting up the paint, tapping it on my paper towel. Getting this kind of mysterious quality look. See, going and destroying it. I know it's fun. You can go like this a little more. You can go turn it upside down. I'm gonna grab that yellow like I was saying before. Just kind of going in here and pushing that color around, playing with it. Now I might have taken up some of this paint before I let it completely dry, which I do sometimes. But this one I'm going to have to go back in and just lift it up the paint completely. Sometimes I do it when I'm actually painting it. Sometimes you can do it afterwards. If you feel like you're too afraid to do it in the beginning, just I'm grabbing some yellow. You can grab some blue. I got this peacock blue. Grab a little blue. Oh, by the way, I did tape it on the edge on each side, but I think you can kind of figure that out. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that. I'm gonna grab some, see I'm just bleeding in some color here. Yellow, you can grab the blue again. Flipping it back. Also, you can take your paper towel if you don't like all the color on the edge there. You can lift some of it up. Play around with it, all right? We're having fun here, guys. Going back and adding some green. And I'm kind of lifting up and destroying some of the berry. Adding some red. Just having it kind of blend. This is just a technique. You don't have to follow it. See, and now I'm really grabbing the water. I'm trying to really erase that leaf here. See? It's almost like you're making it so it doesn't exist. And I'm gonna grab some yellow and some red, make a little beige kind of tone. Or you can keep it all in the greens. Kind of pull, pushing it all around and add some blue. Don't be afraid to add color. See, we didn't do that section in the middle there. But you don't have to, you can keep some of that white. See, take the paper towel, play around with that. You can go like this with the paper towel. These are just some ways to make your designs different. You can go back in, by the way, and add some of the color. It might bleed a little bit. A 
we like the hard edges, right? So that's why I suggest you don't do that if you didn't want those hard edges to make it kind of have that arethal look. And then if you want the bleeded edges, you can just go back in and bleed some color. Go back and put some more of this berry color in here. I'm going to grab some yellow again. Just want some of this yellow. I don't know why I'm feeling in the mood. And see, I just left this little white part here and a little yellow kind of like spraying off this way. You could flip it around and you could put some color here and a little yellow. Take your spray bottle. So you have a bleed. All these fun things you can do. Take your brush, kind of push it around. Pick up that puddle. And see how now it's all bleeding. It's not bleeding like literally bleeding, but you know what I mean. The color is bleeding that way. Isn't this fun? You see I'm lifting up the paint and showcasing white coming through. You can go like that. 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 All these fun things you can do to make your design look really kind of cool. And then once that dries, if you want to go and put a hard edge, um, you know, once it dries, I wouldn't do it. If it's wet, it's going to still keep bleeding, even though I have thick paint. You can go in and go back in. See, it's going to keep bleeding. And then you can get some little detail. You can put like a dot in for the berries. So I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to go back in, and we're going to put that in. So once it's fairly dry, you can go back with your pretty colors, like your red. It's going to fill some of this in, not all of it. Let that dry a bit. And I would just take like a black paint. I have some black wash here. You have to let this dry also, and then you put like a little dot. If I put this in right now, it's going to believe. I'm going to put the dot over here where it's not too. You know, you put like a little dot for the berry. So it looks kind of realistic. That one's kind of bleeding, but that's okay. I'll wait for that one. Isn't that cute? And I might go back in just a little bit, fuss with just a little bit of the green. You know, if I felt like I just, it washed out too much. You can go back in and add a little bit more and then kind of blend it. See? You can add like a vein. Whatever you feel like. These are just suggestions on how to make things unique and different. This is what I call watercolor practice. See, I'm going adding in some beans and maybe on the edge or some, I guess get a little bit darker in here, play around with the green. Just things you can do, right? Make the cards look different and unique. Okay, that's the first one. We're going to move on to our second one. I think that was fun. I think you guys can handle this. <laughs> Again, with the watercolor practice and this technique. Now, you might want to just tape this down again. I just used regular old scotch tape. This time, we can play around with making real, like, abstract, um, like a floral or something like that. It doesn't have to look like anything particular. Again. I'll play around with all these goodies. I'm put them in some of my crap on my desk, sorry. So the greens, peacock blue with this nice yellow. Get this bright green. Take that same green. You can make the dark green with the Prussian blue. A little bit of an umber. We have our reds and we have our browns. Still using the same old brush. Okay, a little bit more green here. 
See, this is really loose, this paint. Add a little Prussian blue. I mean, Prussian blue. Part number. Move like a medium green. So, I don't know. You can make any kind of spray you want. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to take the brush back and forth. See, back and forth. Back and forth. Leave a little doodah. I call it doodah. Look a little line like that. Um, you do another one out here. Spray like a stem coming down here and down here. We're getting jiggy with it. You could put some more leaves out this way. Line. See? Really loose. Grab that dark green while that's still wet. Grab a little more Prussian blue. It needs to be a little bit darker. Okay, while well, it's still wet, kind of blend that in there. See how I do this like greens upon greens, blending it in. I'm just making this up. I like to just play. See, put another dark green line here and add some sprays here. We're doing like a loose, we're not doing a holly this time, we're doing like more of a floral. And do another green spray in here. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just playing. And that's what you should be doing. Now, the flower could be something round. It could be like a poinsettia. I'm gonna do the same red, can mix up some Quinacridone magenta, grab some yellow, mix it in. Get a nice pretty red here. Oh yeah, get that red in there. A little more pink. Look at that red. Okay, so let's think about this. Maybe make something that's pointy like a regular flower. Like a point, like a, almost like a poinsettia. See, psh, psh, point lines, just like that. And then maybe do something out here. And like a berry kind of looking thing here. And a berry thing looking over here. And maybe a couple more berries this way. Look how simple that was. Ch -ch -ch. I know you tell me all the time it's not that simple. It kind of is. <laughs> Just making these little lines. Now we're going to destroy it. I hear that? We have a storm going on out here. So now this is more wet. The last time we waited till it was completely dry. This time we're not going to do that. I'm lifting this up. See? Grabbing some clean water. Have that paper towel close by so you can lift up paint. I know I'm destroying it. See, I'm gonna just take off that paint. I'm gonna go in there and play around with just lifting it, tapping it on the paper towel, grabbing water, lifting it, moving that paint. Whoa, what happened? What happened to my poinsettia? See how I'm just lifting it up? Slip, slip, slip. Oh no. It died. <laughs> but see? Guys, have fun. I mean, I'm just goofing off here, just grabbing some water and pushing it around. And look at that. You don't like it, get that paper towel and lift it up. And there's another trick I talk about this. You can get some, just lift it, keep lifting it like a mop. Now you can flip it around. So it's not just going one way. Right, we can grab some of that yellow. Oh, look at that. Let's just put some yellow in there, huh? Why not? Move the color around. I'm grabbing, see, I'm grabbing the water from the jar. Hear me clanking it, grabbing it, pushing it, grabbing it, pushing it. This is how we do this, guys. If you don't like it, you can always lift it up. There's that berry. The berry's gone. Put that red back in there. Get that little spray of yellow. I'm gonna go in here and kind of just lift up this and flip it back around. See what we got. See if we like what we're doing here. You can kind of lift up this paint, lift it up. Again, same technique, right? Just kind of mushing this pink around, this red around. I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow over here. Put a little sprays with your tip of your brush. Just go back in. Grab some burnt umber. Like a brown one in there. You want to go back and add some more of that 
bright light green. And then once this part, like the fun destroying part is over, <laughs> I call it destroying. Um, you can go back in like I showed you before and add some finer details. You don't have to destroy everything. You can go back in and add that poinsettia. Kind of petal again. And it's going to bleed. Uh, the poinsettias have like a yellow or black center. I could put some yellow in there. And again, grab some of this deep green. So, playing around with this. I'm standing up so I can see what I'm doing here. I might go back in and lift that up again. Just want that look. Like it's just somebody's coming in and erasing it. Lifting again. Might go back in and add some more deep green sprays. Don't want to get too crazy with it. Some blue. You can lift up the tape at this point. I have it held down with the tape so when you're flipping it around, it's not just moving all around. <sighs> okay, doesn't want to get up. If you want that corner painted, you're going to have to lift it. And yeah, I think that looks pretty cool, right? Like I said, when it dries, you can go in if you wanted to, like the other one, and add some, you know, little sprays if you want. If you want to take a tinier brush, like the number four, grab some browns and connect these little guys, put some branches in. Don't have to do any of this. It's always fun to play around with. Like you can add some like little lines, even with black. I'm gonna go add a little bit of black in here by the center. Gold, you know, play around with it. Look at that. So you got these two fun wild and crazy kind of abstract Christmas designs. I just realized I have like a little dot here. So if you run into something like this, when you see like, what? Let me show you. A little dot. Oh, oh, my lighting. Sorry. This little dot right there. I can try and go back in and erase them. I'm just grabbing some water and my paper towel. It's still kind of there. I'm just kind of play around with that. And lift it up and it's pretty much gone okay so we're gonna let these dry and assemble them also you can paint with you know some gold ink gold paint a gold pen like this one this is a gel pen you can kind of add little gold accents guys you got to play around so you're just kind of just wiggling it putting it in the paper and you got these fun little gold accents. You can go around like each little berry with the gold, the branch, you know, some of the leaves. Just wood. You see, I'm just scribbling. These are the things you can do. You put some glitter on it. I mean, this is not a masterpiece, it's just a card. So then you just tape it down or glue it down to your paper. And look at that. Beautiful cards. You know, people could frame them, um, put little decorations in their home too, which is nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fun, abstract Christmas floral tutorial. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't hit the bell notification button, please hit that little bell in the corner so you know when my tutorial is up. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by my channel. And listen, have fun with it. Paint it, remove it, add, do all that stuff. This is what it's all about. This is how you learn how to have figure out who you are, who your voice is, and painting, watercolor. Do you not like this? You might not like this. You might say, ugh, I want the realist, realistic kind of way. Then you paint that way. But you don't know what you like until you try them all. 
So take care, guys. Enjoy. And I'll speak to you soon.